Hello there, welcome back to the Ogre, the old Git Reacts, Reviews and Off Times Reminisces. Uh, today we're doing a reminisce, uh, going back, oof, far back, how far back? Must be 25 years at least, um, I think, for this. Um, and then Bonnick Art, Ad Noctum Dynasty of Death, the album, and we'll do Supreme Sacrifice from, from Sad Opus. Um, why that particular track? Why not? Um, I could have picked any one of them, to be honest. Uh, in fact, I was going to pick um, Pits of the Cold Beyond, but for, it was a toss-up. It, it could have been a toss-up with any of them, as I keep saying. So anyway, waffle, waffle. Um, I, once <laughs> I once saw a review of this album, albeit um, nearly 20 years after its, uh, its release, saying this was uh, factory-produced black metal. Uh, well, I must be a drone because I love it, and um, it, uh, as we'll get into as we go along. But um, there's so many things about this album that uh, tickle me. Um, let's see if you're similarly tickled. Let's have a listen, shall we? things to like about this album is um, the thickness of the sound. Um, if it was porridge you'd be using a hammer and chisel to eat it. Um, in some ways the speed sort of um, starts nudging it back towards being more fluid but uh, nonetheless it, uh, it, 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 it is a thick sounding album. Um, thinking about that review I mentioned where <laughs> quite derogatory about this album in some ways you can see why they might be irked by it. The drum, which are obviously um, digital drums, um, um, are rubbish, to be honest. But it doesn't matter here, you know. Um, it was of the time, uh, you know, drum sounds were notoriously hard to get accurate or realistic um, back in those days, especially when you start int introducing that amount of speed. 
Um, so yeah, you, you can moan about the drums, but for me, the, the drums convey the pace, and so authenticity or realism doesn't count for me in this. Um, and of all the limbonic art stuff, the stuff prior to this, I didn't, I couldn't really get along with, to be honest. Um, it was too twee. Uh, and after this, it was too polished. Um, this is going back to the porridge analogy, I suppose. This was just right. Uh, Goldilocks would be proud. Um, so, yes, this is their apogee. Um, as such, I can't contain myself anymore. Let's listen to some more of it. On previous albums, the um, synthesizers, keyboards were uh, far more prevalent than on this one. Uh, and here they provide the atmosphere in the background rather than being um, right up front, um, which is probably why I like this one a little bit more. Um, the imagery on the album cover, um, again, don't ask me about the lyrics, I ain't got a clue. But... Um, the imagery is all deep space and uh, ancient Egypt. It's like Sphinx in space. Um, and you sort of get, it's a common uh, theme, isn't it? Oh, especially in science fiction, that um, the ancient Egyptians were alien invaders. Um, and these, these tracks convey that sort of alien cold, if you will, you know, sort of... Um, emotionless um, aspect that uh, science fiction gives uh, aliens in many respects um, and the sort of imagery of ancient Egypt or that imperious imagery of cold gods and sort of uh, uncaring pharaohs I suppose um, it all works quite well on this album it does <laughs>
stop it there because an analogy just popped into my head. This, uh, this final section, uh, or this part of the final section, reminds me of kids on a roundabout when the um, you're hanging on to the, the edge of the, or ed edge of the roundabout onto the rails and you've been spun around faster and faster and faster. Um, this is as part of the, the song is at the, um, the point whereby you're barely holding on. You, know, you hold on for, for grim death and uh, you're about to be flung off at any minute. Uh, that's the sort of sense I get from uh, this part of the album. And it's all a good for merry ground to it's It's all a roller coaster. <laughs> rather jolly um yes yeah, so if you break this down to its component parts um you wouldn't expect what you get um so what's the analogy the the uh, the sum is greater than the parts it's certainly the case here um yeah the drums aren't particularly the best sounding drums but they work perfectly here. Um, even the guitars um, aren't the best sounding guitar, but they work perfectly well here. Um, and everything all builds together. Um, the the keyboards poke through where they need to, um, to add the necessary emphasis. And it all works really, 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 really well. Um, I love it. Um, it is one of my favorite albums but then I'm a drone, aren't I? <laughs> um, if this is factory produced um, black metal, then um, take me on a factory visit anytime. In fact, let me work there, please. Um, anyway, nothing more to be said. I am on a high now. I'm on a, on a high. I can go for the rest of this day with my feet barely touching the ground. <laughs> Enough. Clicky bollocks, and I'll see you all next time.